I was really, really nervous going in because I didn't know what to expect, but they took me through it step by step. They sat down and told me all about it, explained it, how it can work. I could position myself nicely within the car with the steering wheel and sort of have a, a good play. It's the access, really. You need to be able to get in and out of the car easily. You need to be able to have good visibility um, in the back for turning. You need to make sure that the boot is big enough for what you want to put in it. It's making sure that you're getting the vehicle that suits you, not only from sitting in the vehicle, but also driving the vehicle. The most important thing to do is to arrange to have a test drive. Test drives are the key to finding the right car. It's always a good idea to make sure that you take your name drivers with you as well. When I first got the car, um, it was me as a provisional driver and my stepdad was actually the name driver, so you don't have to have a licence to have the car. He done a test drive in the car um, when we went to go and pick it out and he loved it. He thought it was a, a great little car and, and his opinion went a long way for me to choose it. The car I'm looking at now, I asked my two lads to come and have a little look. Obviously they've got to be sort of like suitable in it because they could get in a car and think, oh no, I just, I just could not drive this car sort of thing. We would ask a customer to fill in the motability suitability questionnaire when we think we found the appropriate car. It asks questions about the size, getting in and out of the car, space for adaptations and wheelchairs and so on. And it's just to underline how important it is to choose the right car first time.